Hi boys and girls. I want to teach you two different ways to think about addition today. In one, we're going to add from the ones column and then find a total by carrying a 10. In the second one, we're going to start in the tens column and record our total down here and then move to the ones column and record our total underneath it and add them both up to find our, our total sum. Let's start with the first one. In this, we have 27 plus 4. That's like saying I have 20, two tens and 7, and I wish to add 4 more dollars. When I add the 4 dollars in the ones column, I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which I can now exchange 10 dollars for a 10 dollar bill but I don't put my $10 bill in the ones column. I carry it into the tens column. I carry it. That's like going like this. I have 11 and I put the $1 over here and I carry the 10 over to the tens column. Now I can count up the total number of tens I have. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30, and I bring that down underneath here, and I have a total of 31. That's the first strategy. In the se second strategy, we still have 27 dollars, 10, 20, 5, 26, 27, and we wish to add 4 to it. The first thing we do is we say, and I'm starting in the tens column now, and I say 20 plus no tens equals 20. And I write the total partial sum underneath, not worrying about the ones place yet. So that's here. Now I'm able to add, move over to the ones place. And I say $7 plus $4 equals a total of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which I can once again exchange for a new 10. And that equals a total of $11. I can now put that 11 down here. And that's a partial sum, and that's a partial sum. This is the sum of adding the 10s, which goes over here. And this is the sum of adding the ones, which goes there. Now add up your partial sums like you normally do, and you come up with the same total as you do here. Just two different ways of thinking about it. In one, you start from the ones place, and in the other, you start in the tens place.